What's up everybody, it's Conger Live and we're back again with another TMNT Mutant Madness video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more TMNT Mutant Madness content. Don't forget to ninja kick that like button and leave a comment, it really helps the channel. We're going to look at the giveaways that have started and maybe get a little bit of information about the new hero, Mutagen Man. So with that, let's go get into it. Okay, so on the 12th, when we were supposed to start, which was yesterday, um, and maybe even two days ago, depending on where, where you're at in the world, um, there was an error and L apologized for the delay on the giveaways. So the day one giveaway didn't start till my time was 1127 PM, um, almost at the end of the day after. <clears throat> so, um, the cool thing about this one, they're going to have a couple like this where it's a five star blaster hero drive and a hundred five star bits. You get to pick with your emoji, which of the four blasters they're offering, which one you would like, which drive you would like, if you are the winner. We already have 266 entrants and 186 of them are putting Super Irma as the drive they would want. And if you've been playing and you know how good she is, especially on this mutation, it makes sense why most people want Super Irma. I'm kind of shocked at who says they want a five-star Dementor drive. Who is that? Um, please leave a comment down below if that's you. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, good luck to anybody. Now that's going to end very, very shortly. So if you haven't gotten into the Discord, make sure you go add a reaction for your chance to win. And then they also have day two up already, and that's going to end only a couple hours later. And when the day two one ends, that's when the day three should launch. Day two is equipment chests, each containing one piece of epic level 230 equipment. Now, 230 equipment for me is unimpressive. I I don't care if I win this. I want the five star hero drive with the 100 bits. Day one is the better one of these two that are up right now. Um, I need level 250, 240, 250 gear and higher. That's what I need to improve my roster. But of course, those of you who are newer to the game, that's going to make a huge impact on one of your characters uh, to be able to get two equipment chests at 230. So that's pretty cool that they're giving away some decent stuff so far. And we'll keep you guys updated as to what the other giveaways are as we go forward towards Christmas. Okay, some of you may have noticed that Mutagen Man is in the game data. Well, not 100%. We don't see his character model yet. They haven't added his image his character portrait to the fan kit yet. We haven't seen his uh, head icon, but those things are coming soon. L did tell me that in the dev Q&A, um, but they haven't released it yet. So we have just this image pulled from the internet of Mutagen Man. Hopefully uh, they've done a really good job. They, they seem to have done a good job so far with the hero models and a lot of the heroes coming up, but we can read his kit. The one thing we can't see is his equipment skill. So once we go through his kit, I want to hear from you in the comments down below, what type of things do you think his equipment skill is going to do and what is his equipment? So his special active is release the mutagen. And he's going to select the line at range four, target all enemies in it and inflict 50 damage over eight seconds. Of course that damage scales in the numbers in green scale with your turtle power. So damage over eight seconds. So damage over time. That's pretty cool. Um, he's going to be able to work really well with Muckman um, and maybe some of the other damage over time heroes. Um, Muckman's probably one of the better damage over time heroes that really benefits from that. Um, Antrax, I always thought, had potential but just doesn't quite live up to it. Of course, uh, Shredder puts out damage over time, but he doesn't benefit from that. And then Savanti has some as well. Um, at level 75, his attack is also going to inflict slow for three seconds to all enemies at range one of the previous targets. 
So that should probably include everyone that they hit in that line and anyone next to them uh, are going to be slowed. And then he's going to inflict extra damage to targets under 10 barrier. He's going to inflict negative 40 strength for 6 seconds to all enemies at range 1 of the previous targets. So I'm not sure if the negative strength and the slow are only to the people that aren't the main targets. Um, but of course if there's two people standing next to each other, they're both in the line, they're both adjacent to the previous target. So it should, it should hit them all, I'm pretty sure. Um, we'll have to wait and see when we get them exactly how that works. Um, but reducing strength, um, extra damage for anybody that's under 10 barrier. So it looks like he's going to benefit from someone who can strip away barrier to be on his team. His first auto skill is called Bind Dex Delivery. He's going to target enemy at range 3, deal physical damage, target all enemies at range 1 of them, inflict negative 40 will, barrier, and armor for 8 seconds. Stripping will, barrier, and armor. That's insane. They're not going to get their skills off very fast, and they're going to be very vulnerable to be able to take a lot more damage for those eight seconds. That's a that's a decent amount of time to be stripped of barrier and armor, and that's going to, of course, support his special right there, that negative barrier. And at 100, he inflicts negative 30 extra will, barrier, and armor to targets under 10 haste. So kind of got some tricky stuff going on here. He's a trickster tank. So you want them to have low barrier, you want them to have low haste, and maybe some more things to be stripped as we move further into his kit. His first passive is called Nerd Brain Power. After attacking, gain a little bit of defense if the target was under 10 barrier. Okay. Gain plus 5 haste for 30 seconds if the target was taking damage over time. Ooh, that's nice. He's going to be able to stack haste for 5 seconds. I mean, for 30 seconds, 5 haste for 30 seconds each time he does a basic attack. And that's going to just ex go faster and faster as he's doing this. Really, really cool. If they're taking damage over time, which they are with his special. Um, so you, he's definitely going to benefit from being with Muckman. That's that's really, really cool. Um, and Shredder. Um, I definitely see those two being in there. And then, of course, a couple really good supports like April and you know, like Splinter, Mona Lisa, something like that. Um, and at 200, he's going to gain 5 strength for 30 seconds if the target was rooted or slowed. So he also slows. So he, not only does he gain haste, but he gains strength, giving him the ability to potentially have some decent damage output. Now, he's a trickster tank, so I don't think his kit really puts out a lot of damage. But with the ability to boost for 30 seconds, he could, he could gain quite a bit of, uh, of damage output right there. And his other passive is Helping Friends. After an enemy at range 1 attacks another ally, give a little bit of defense to that ally. That's not bad, so a support skill in his trickster tank role. Pretty, pretty cool. And then at 225, he gains 15 strength and 25 strength for 5 seconds if the ally is under 50% health. Ooh, it says gain, not give. So... If he was giving strength and haste, that'd be... That'd be really insane, but I think since it says gain, it's for himself. Um, so he's going to give defense, and but he's going to also get stronger. Interesting. Very nice. And this could stack. Five seconds. That could stack. Yeah, he could be doing a lot of damage really quick. His basic attacks. So disarm is going to shut him down. We're not going to like. He's not going to like disarm. And punch to the guts. See more guts. That's right. Gain 200 armor for four seconds. Target an enemy at range one. Deal physical damage. And if you get him to four star or five star, you can get him up to 250. You gain 200 barrier for four seconds. Inflict stun for two seconds. What? He's got a stun. You got to get him all the way up to 250, but he has a stun. A, stun, a two second stun. Mutagen Man's kit seems pretty freaking awesome. Pretty nasty. Um. He does physical damage, um, but he likes them to have no uh, negative barrier or less than 10 barrier, right? That's what it says. Under 10 barrier and then under 10 barrier. Interesting. So, you know, very, very interesting. What do you guys think his equipment skill would be? Um, I would imagine it's probably going to do something to give him haste uh, and strength. Maybe something like that. Um, it would be really, really awesome if he had some 
sort of resistance to disarm. I don't think they'll do that. Um, probably some sort of uh, haste and or, and or strength uh, boost for him would make the most sense. Well, that's it for Muckman. Don't forget to go over to the Discord and join the giveaways for your chance for some pretty cool stuff for the 12 days of Discord. That's all we got for today's video. Thank you guys for sticking with me. And I hope to see you in the next video. Let's game smarter. Don't forget to ninja kick that like button. Subscribe for more TMNT Newton Madness content. Happy holidays. Have a turtle's Christmas.